Hi everyone, so it is the final week of our Leaders Who Lead series. Um, we've really enjoyed putting this together and we just want to thank everybody who's participated in it. Um, and really just to sort of round this off, we wanted to put this together. We were hearing from a lot of people during COVID that they were just struggling with things around navigating the change really is is what this was driven by navigating change and navigating uncertainty and that uncertainty is still gonna be around for a long time which is why we knew that this would be a topical series to do probably for the next year but even beyond that you know businesses are always going to go through change so it's something um, that you can refer back to so for the last week, we've put together a little checklist there. I was just going to give you a quick little walkthrough of what that, that is. Yeah, we were really keen to give you something that you could reference back to because we appreciate touching on this stuff's great, um, but actually it's really useful if you're going through a period where you're struggling or you really want to reference back to the insight. Um, we thought the checklist would be just be a useful one pager. Um, and we often do this with most of our training courses. So the first bit that we covered in week one was around finding certainty in uncertainty, uncertainty, which is obviously quite tricky, but it was really about, you know, thinking through what, what are people going through now? What, as leaders, what do you need to do in a period where times are uncertain and the visibility is, isn't clear? The second part that we looked at was really around having high impactful conversations. So this is going to be a really useful point if you get to a situation within the business where you're worried about having a difficult conversation or you want to make inroads in having really high impactful conversations with maybe some of your uh, leadership team or um, for them to be able to have them with their team. So the third week, we focused on increasing your emotional intelligence. And we've heard this a lot where people have really had to tune in and switch that on. And um, so that is really, uh, there's a great, some great pointers around actually turning your emotional intelligence up um, and being conscious about the people around you and how people react differently to potentially yourself. The fourth was uh, driving a, uh, a culture of change. So that doesn't happen overnight. So some of the stuff that we shared with you are things you might want to look at, start to implement and then cross check back and see how you can continue to encourage that culture of change. And that's making small changes on a regular basis potentially um, to really start to get people to appreciate that change is part of the business and it's, it's, it's more normal. Um, and I think that'll be really useful to do currently because behaviors have already started to tune in to change. Um, and finally, really um, developing your commercial and ownership thinking. So how do you start to introduce commercial things within the business, with the wider business, and share that stuff and start to educate, educate the team on being commercial, more commercially minded? And never has there been a time when that's more pertinent than now. Yeah. So we've actually attached the checklist um, to this post so you can download that. Obviously, if you want um, more insight around any of those, the checklist is from the series. So again, just click on the link, we'll drop that below to sign up for that free series at any point. Obviously, this is just a taste of the work that we do. It really scratches the surface. Um, we work with leadership teams on everything from leadership programs around a particular area. So that might be mapping out the accountabilities of the leadership team and driving that. We've got programs that take your leadership team from dysfunctional to functional, if that's a challenge for you, um, through to growth programs, really helping you map out what change needs to happen in your business and then how to embed the cultural change to enable that to stick right the way through to just more flexible programs where we meet with and work with your leadership team on a regular basis around key topical areas of the business in which you need to drive change. So if you're interested um, in doing any further work on this or you've got elements in your business that you know you need to drive change within but you're not quite sure where to start, please just reach out. We're always happy to have an initial conversation and share some of the work that we do. So thank you um, for tuning in to us for the last six weeks. Um, we will definitely be doing more of this engagement um, video work, so stay tuned. Thanks everyone and have a great week.